goals being worth double the points, Jeff. You had the first overall pick. Was that pick pretty obvious for you, knowing the rules? Absolutely. Austin Matthews for me. I'm hoping he can go on in one of those runs, much like the great players do, whether it be Eric Lindros, Sidney Crosby, Ovi. I'm hoping he can be the alpha dog. You saw he was pumped up with his goal celebrations at the end of the season, and he can be my main guy leading me through this playoff run. Hopefully I can get the job done as a squad this year and not finish last again. Dave, your strategy seems pretty obvious. You loaded up on just four teams, one from each division, and also the only guy in this draft to pick players from the Tampa Bay Lightning. So you kind of like the Lightning to make a shot at a repeat here. I do, Glenn. It's been such a strange year for everybody on every front, and this isn't a normal repeat year. They've been through different things. You know, their best player, Kucherov, didn't play a single game this year. Stamkos, well-rested. But I wanted Marner in the first round because I knew I wouldn't get another shot at him, and I wanted his tie, obviously, to, you know, that offensive group. But then once I saw guys weren't taking Tampa, I let the Tampa guys slide a little bit, but I did get my goalie early, which I always like to do. Carlo, you took Connor McDavid second overall, then got Dreisaitl in the third round. How confident are you in the Oilers, or is this just a case of even if you get them for two rounds, it'll be enough points to help you win this thing? Yeah, I'm glad it's a little bit of both. I mean, uh, confidence with the Edmonton Oilers, considering they've got the two best players in the game. Uh, I think it's safe to say most people project them to go two rounds, and if they can get you 20 points each, it gives you a pretty comfortable lead in 14 games that they might play. Uh, but also, I mean, it's the NHL. It's the unpredictability of what team could possibly catch lightning in a bottle. And if Edmonton's one of those teams, it bodes well for me. And I just, you know, the rest of my roster, I just tried to add top players from each team. And I like my last pick on forward with Zach Hyman. It play, it's going to play on that top line with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner to get me more points. So we'll see how this one plays out. Marty, you waited till the end of this draft to fill out your goalies and defense, and a lot of eyebrows were raised when you picked Mackenzie Weger from the Florida Panthers. Defend yourself. Okay, Mackenzie Weger is a stud. When Aaron Ekblad went down, he was almost a point a game in the rest of the regular season games. He led all defensemen in even string points this year. Now, he didn't get a point in the four goals that they scored in game one, but I still think he's a stud. And about my goalies, I was so bad with goalies in the regular season, I actually thought of picking backup goaltenders so I wouldn't lose points when they lose a game. That's the problem this year is I lost so many games that I kept losing points. So I went with starters, but I thought about doing backups. Interesting strategy, to say the least. While Dave Poulin trying to go back to back to back, you can follow along on tsn.ca, all playoffs 